partnering up with employers around the state line for an event that looks to help veterans find jobs. Joining us now is Amy Henson with the Department of Veterans Affairs. Amy, thank you so much for joining us. Oh, thank you for having us today. Mm -hmm, absolutely. So first off, could you tell us a little bit about the Walk-In Wednesdays hiring event that's coming up next week? Absolutely. It's an event that we host on Wednesday, hence Walk-In Wednesday. Um, we hold it quarterly where it is a hiring event only for veterans. So it's different than your general public job fair, like what happened earlier today. But we are only um, inviting veterans and then local employers who want to part who have partnered with us and would like to hire veterans first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And then, you know, obviously for a job fair, there's got to be a number of different career fields and employers that, you know, attendees can choose from. Could you sort of talk talk to us about that? Sure. What we do is we have employers that are partnered with us in our business advisory council. Again, they, we meet quarterly. However, what we do have is manufacturing, health care, home health care, um, including a veteran home health care service that w is, serves veterans and they would like the veteran wants a veteran to help take care of them because they they have that instant connection and camaraderie. There is transportation, there's security, the list could go on and on, gaming, um, warehouse, everything. Absolutely, yeah, and I was just going to say, you know, this isn't the first walk-in Wednesdays. You guys have actually held this, I believe, five times since May of 2023. So, you know, how have things gone in the past, and how eager are companies to, you know, hire veterans first? Oh, uh, yeah, absolutely. It's, it's really um, exciting because initially it's always a trial and error, right? So um, our first Walk-In Wednesday event in May of 2023 had, um, we had about five employers and five veterans because the word just didn't get out, don't know why, but it didn't matter. The result was is a couple veterans, about two veterans were hired during that event. And since every single event we've had has resulted in multiple veterans being hired at different uh, places. We have aerospace, we have um, security, we have just uh, the home health care stuff. We have veterans being hired in all of those, um, all of those employers. So, and they are very eager. That's why our business advisory council is growing exponentially. Um, when we walk out, my uh, colleagues and I, we, we go to the uh, the employers in the community and we just talk about our program and then um, how the veterans will uh, benefit from not only our program, but working with uh, the employers that come. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, that is all the time that we have for our interview today. Amy, thank you so much again for joining us. Yes, thank you. There's a couple websites I can throw out for you where people can find out where to go and how to get there. Mm -hmm. The oh. William S. Middleton Facebook. Yeah, I was, I was just going to say, we, we're going to actually put some of those links onto our website as well. Perfect. Thank so, you. I so appreciate yeah. that. Yeah, absolutely. No problem.